So we're about to intersect two different sets, set A and set B. So let's go ahead and start with a number line here. And we're going to put both of these on the number line. And I'll just start with A. So A goes from negative 8 to negative 6. We'll say that's negative 8, negative 6. Uh, B is negative 1 to positive 2. And I'm not counting this out exactly evenly spaced. So we got negative 1 to positive 2. And I'm going to draw the A set. We have negative 8 to negative 6. And I got closed at negative 8, open at negative 6. Our B set is open at negative 1 and closed at 2. And they asked to intersect these two. So intersect is the overlap, or which x values are in both sets. Well, any x value in the first set is not in the second set. So there's actually no x values in common to both. So you can't write none here, but you're going to write d and e as your answer. Now, if they had an overlap, we'd have something very different. So I'm going to switch colors and just do a uh, example where these sets may overlap. I'll do negative 8, negative 1, 2. And I'll take my first set to go, let's go like that. And I'll take my next set going from negative 3 to positive 2. Now if I intersect these two, I'll switch to another color and you can see right here is where they're going to intersect. Now we have to be a little bit careful about exactly where they intersect. We can see clearly it's from three, negative 3 to negative 1. Let's look at negative 3. Negative 3 is not in the bottom set. So negative 3 has to be excluded. It is in the top set, but it's not in the bottom set. Now we're going to look at negative 1. Negative 1 is definitely in the bottom set, and if you look carefully, it's in the top set because it's closed right there. So we'd have to include the negative 1 endpoint here.